Hello. So we are back Wednesday. Diana is back to work. And we have a job. We just booked in this job. It was booked in like one hour ago. Yeah. Water damage. iPhone 6s. Okay. That's all what we have to do to fix this one. No one opened this one. So we can open now. And see what can be wrong there. Oh, what do you think? What can be wrong there? How bad is damage? How badly? We can fix it or not? Because not always you'll find like shorted capacitors. Sometimes the things are uh, quite badly damaged. Okay, this looks like no one opened it before. No, 6S has a seal uh, around the screen. The screen has a crack here. Yeah, probably it was open, open before. We can see here some water damage spots. Yeah, the screen has been replaced before. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We, we, we didn't even test it. Let's test it first. Maybe it's working. Plugged in the charger and it's taking only 400 milliamps, which is not normal. There is some problem. We have a picture on the screen and only 400 milliamps. So that's a sign something is wrong there. But from my experience, I don't think it's anything shorter there. Because it's taking 400 milliamps. If it will be something shorted, uh, you'll see. It will be something else there, but not 400 milliamps. Maybe this is will be interesting. Maybe. Yeah, the sticker is red. Uh, we still have water. I think. Maybe not. Ah. Mm -mm. Oh, crazy. <laughs> and I've got a 
Okay, just a little bit of water damage here, here. This should be fine. Let's clean it. It's not even... <laughs> Let's check together. There's nothing to clean here. It's, it's quite, uh, quite okay. It's quite okay. It is fine, fine. Now we clean it. Fine. See if it's Four hundred milliamps. That's not okay. That's not okay. Taking out the battery and it's still taking four hundred milliamps. So you have to ask one question. Where this uh, 430 milliamps is going if the battery is not plugged in? So where is going? Because it's going somewhere. That's the reason why I took the battery out to see if the, that power 430 milliamps is going on the battery or not. And it looks like it's not. It's going on the board. Let's check the board. For short. Power supply. around 2 amps minus it's taking 1 amp wow I told you it's not short something is gone but it's not shorted it's taking 1 amp the voltage is fine it's 4.5 volts it's stable and the current is like 1 amp so something is getting mad hot so we have to take the the seals out and check to see exactly what's wrong here Because you cannot have like one arm there with, with the phone being off. Yeah. So somewhere, somehow, it's a problem. Yeah. Always pay attention to the current, yeah? yeah. Pay attention and uh, it will give you like a clue about what's going on on your device. And everything looks fine here. Let's check together. So it's not even water damage. I touch the chip and I leave my print there. But it's not water damage here. Everything looks so fine. You can see. So, so what's the problem? Hmm. One amp. Mm. 
this is 6s this is our first MOSFET there then Tiger ship so what we should do because if you if you if you keep there one arm very possible the things what is getting hot will get burned and the things what is getting hot is not necessary the bad component eh? okay it's a tricky thing when actually it's shorted but it's not very short it's taking one amp well. okay okay something here the Wi-Fi chip something here anyway Everything is getting hot here. It's kind of weird. And I'll explain you why in a second. There's no here. Okay, this is a hard one. Let's open the schematic. Success. What do I want to check? Where is going plus? Because I want to come with the current after the the first MOSFET, which is here, 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 yeah. So I want to come with the current here. And all what we need, we need a spot. And the best spot here, let's try we can come with the current here on the Wi-Fi. We have two capacitor. So let's see if there yeah it's okay if we have short on main vcc i mean so i will come here and here we have one amp it's taking one amp okay And I have no idea what is getting hot. Let's try with alcohol here. Yeah? With uh, alcohol or petrol or whatever you have there. But if the if the if the Wi-Fi chip is getting hot, we are dead.
So what is getting hot here? Here's something. But well, what? So this is not a short something is taking one amp. Something here. You can see look look there on the So you, you can see how the the, 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 the petrol is moving there. So check that. Yeah, so pay attention on this area. Let's see if I can make more zone. Yeah. You can see. Hmm. Touching, not touching. Touching, not touching. You know what I think? I think our uh, problem is on the other side of the board. That's what I think. Because actually here the board is getting hot. So must be from here. So let's take this thingy down. And yeah, we have some problems here. I didn't think the water goes here, but it looks like, yeah. So what do you think? You know what we have here? We have the backlight I see. We have the short key diode. Someone correct me on the video from. Uh, from today with the uh, with uh, with the iPhone 7, yeah, short key. So that's the short key diet. That's the backlight I see. This is the output capacitor. So yeah, that explains a lot of things. So we get we are getting one amp because it's short after this diode. So here or here on this capacitor we have a short, most likely, yeah. So let's. Check with the multimeter diode mode. Diode mode, diode mode, diode mode, diode. Okay, so let's check on the output capacitor here. It's not short. Okay, anyway, let's clean and see. Maybe uh, just a clean up will be enough. Okay. Let me clean the thermal paste from the processor, the thermal compound. Okay, now let's clean with alcohol, petrol, whatever you have. I prefer petrol. But I don't understand. It was if 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 it was water damage, why here I have some yellow thing? There's no water. There's something else. Hmm? You don't think? Please don't focus. The 
the dead is moving. Uh, we are dead. Yeah, the dead is hard to be replaced. It's not hard, but it's risky. Don't worry about that. Let's check if we have short. Maybe the chip is dead. Minus. Everywhere, anywhere. Oh, that's sick. Now we have, we have like perfect short, like zero zero. So if I check now on the on the on the battery, no one amp. Okay. What I'm doing wrong? One amp, sorry, it's one amp. It's still same song, same story, yeah. So what I will do, let's check with the. Uh, let's see. Petrol. I have to connect the ground. Now let's test with oh, plus. Plus, yeah. So look that here. Yeah? You can see. On, off. On, off. On, off. On, off. On, off. So that chip is getting mad hot. Probably the chip is dead. Yeah? That's that's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah? Okay, let's carry on. Okay. So, let's try one more time. Let's check just to be sure. It's from behind of the chip, yeah? It is? On off, on off, on off, on. So look, look, pay attention. It, oh, you can't see the, 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 the full picture. Pay attention on the output track from that chip, which is the diode. Yeah. So actually the track, it's, it's going a lot of current on that track. You see the track with, uh, from, uh, from the diode? Huh? Pay attention on that truck from the middle of the chip. Look on that truck. So you see a lot of current is going there. A lot of current. Huh? So I would say, you know what? Let's remove that diode. Because the diode is gone anyway. But one second, one second. It's possible to be wrong. So our problem is here, yeah? So what I said, I said it's a lot of current going on this track, yeah? Give me one second, please.
Okay. So you know what I think? I think the chip is dead, not the diode. But the diode is dead anyway. But just because you see that the truck is going to the coil. The coil is is connected, should be connected to PCC main. Yeah. It is, it is. Yeah. So it's just enough to check here, here. You see here? On the first MOSFET from the battery. Yeah. So this truck is going to the battery on the other side. And uh, this one is main VCC line. That's the name. Yeah. Main VCC line. But also it's going to this diode. This coil. You have a coil. You have the chip which is switching to the ground. And you have the diode. The diode is uh, recovering the, the thingy. Yeah. And after the diode, you have the capacitor and it's going to this fuse. It's a resistor, it's not a fuse. Well, you know, just try to make the people happy, telling me the FL is mean it's a fuse. It's a resistor. It's a carbon non-inductive resistor. And it's going to the LCD. So this is our backlight thing. But because this truck is getting hot, the chip is shorted to ground. Okay? So that's the issue on our case. It's just a logical thinking, finding a fault. Okay? I don't have schematics to show you, but you can figure it out the schematics. So here on this point, we have our main power rail, we have the coil, and we have the chip. You know, so the chip, if the chip is shorted to ground, because the chip, it is connected to ground, and it's meant to switch. But instead of switching, it's just shorted. Okay? The diode is gone, because... Uh, no, no, cannot be the diode. No, 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 cannot be the diode, because if we have the diode, the, the pressure will, will be on the diode side, not on the chip. So I'll see the chip is getting hot because it's shorted. Okay. So you see, this is a you see it's another case of uh, of what can what can go wrong on a water damage job. Yeah. You can see we have uh, the underfill layer of uh, glue. So I don't think it's water there. All what we can do is to replace the chip. This diode, which the diode has one pin, is broken. You see? I don't want to broke the truck. Yeah. Okay. So let's replace these things. Let's use some Captain tape to isolate the, the parts which... You don't really want to play too much with heat there, because... Uh, you have the processor on one side, you have another thingy on the other side, the connectors, the screen connectors, yeah? So we want to fix this device, not to broken more. That's fine. That's okay. Let's use some flux. Yeah. Yeah, we are getting the chip out, yeah? Yes. Let me grab one of my new two teasers, because all disappear. 
suddenly disappeared from my desk. And I bought it like eight pounds from eBay. Let's see if are nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at them. This is this is you know. Looks so nice, so nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, give me one second. Okay. But this will be a bit longer. Oh, I forgot the other chip. We have another. Uh, we have the. Uh, what's the name? <laughs> Chestnut. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I think pineapple. 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 The heat can go here and can burn my uh, my connector. I, I don't want it. So I should come with heat from this side. But I can't take it, I need space here. So even from this side, I can? I think I can. The chip it's out. Let's get a diode. You know what? This tweezer is too big. Let me find another one. And I, I need something even better. Yeah, I found another one. Let's see this one. Uh, Okay, the diode is out anyway. Now, your main problem on a job like that is cleaning the glue. That's the, that's the, that's the hard part. And you can't go now and clean because you'll broke the truck. So first you have to take the solders out. Uh, that truck is gone. Look on that on the other side of the diode. Yeah, that truck is gone Because was liquid damage there you see it's no truck You can see it's no truck so we have to do some dodgy thing Yeah I have some fake uh, flux here some fake arm tank flux it's you can't see anything on this flux. I don't know. I bought it from eBay. Everyone, you, you can't even see. Everything is fake on these days. I can't believe. Even people probably are fake. Fake people, fake friends. <laughs> Not me. I have no problems, but 
That's what you read on Facebook every day. Okay, what I will do, I'll come with the hot air. Let's set up the hot air around uh, 250 degrees. And let's help the solder iron with the hot air, okay? So the solder looks like it's out, okay? All what we need now, we need to take out the... We need to take out the glue. Okay. We need space for the new chip. Okay? That's the reason why I'm doing this. No, it doesn't work in the east. east. Now let me get a tweezer. You have to be very careful because it's very easy to knock out a truck or another component. Uh, let me come with the hot air. That will make your life harder, you yeah? know? And the job longer. Okay, the temperature is too high. Why the temperature changed to 370? I can't believe. So it seems to be fine, what do you think? Huh? What do you think? We can come with the chip here? What do you think? Sorry, the board move. Let's clean here. Yeah? Let's clean. Alcohol. You can't really clean a petrol somewhere where, where you have to solder because uh, it's not a good friend petrol we soldering. So seems fine to you. It's fine. It's okay. Happy. Now, that is fine. Here is okay. Here is fine. Yeah, everything is fine. Now, you know what we can do? Just for your... Uh, you know, just to check if we have any short. Just to prove the, the, the point of doing this. Minus. Plus. Plus, and it's taking nothing, yeah? So it's not short anymore. The <laughs> main problem now, we don't have a... 
a big light I see we don't have a diode you know what I mean I mean we use them and we didn't buy because I have to do the orders and uh, probably I forget so what we need now we need a board to take the components out I think this is 6 plus yeah yeah or 6 this is 6 It is fun, water damage one. <laughs> Another one with water damage. But the chip will be with, hot, with, with, with that black glue. How can I move the chip? I have a board without that chip and diode. No, we can't. Do, we have to use second-hand parts. That's, that's the life. Hmm. This is a broken board. I have to use. Uh, we have to use the thingy from here. Oh no, all this you have brand new components with solder balls on it, you know, that's... And yeah, we don't have the reboiling thing, the reboiling kit. So we have to work with what we have. This is this is plus. Oh no, this is six. This is six, it's not six S. Eight, 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 nine. <sighs> Okay, don't worry, don't worry. If I remember, and it's very possible to have the chip new, and we can get the dial from here. Let, let's check if we have the chip, the chip new. Let's see. It's very possible we have the chip. Yeah, this is long, I know, but not all the videos are like fixing a water damage iPhone on five minutes. I know. The people start being funny, you know, sorry, you know, oh, another shorted capacitor video. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, this is a charging, I see, it's a tristar, sorry. Yeah, this is another one. Yeah, I think that's the one. Maybe not. Let me check online. eBay. iPhone. One six S. Back. Why? I see. Yeah, found it found it oh so if you go on ebay they are selling kits like the chip the capacitor the diode and the coil 
And it's not this one, this is something else what I have here. 5A. 5AC. GQG. G or G. 3539. 3539. 3, 5, yeah, it's the same one. 3539. That's the, that's the name. 3539. Okay. We are fine. We are good. We are good. So we have cheap, brand new. So uh, we have the diode from this board. We will take the diode from there. Yeah. Let's put back the chips. Okay, we are ready. We are ready. We are ready. Need some flux. My fake flux. The chip. If I remember, the position of the chip is like that. Yeah, must be like that. Must be like that. I don't know how I will, I will hold the chip here. We'll see. We just carry on the thing here, yeah? like usual. Three seventy degrees less air we don't want the chip to jump away uh. I don't trust this chip. I don't trust it, but that's 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 the life. Let's hold up the chip and check. See if it's right. We need more air. Okay, the chip is on his place. Yeah. We need a diode. Let's get a diode from the other board. Uh, that diode, the Scott QM. This is a faulty board, yeah. Let me grab the diode. The diode is out. What I will do? What I will do? Uh, 
then we use some solder thing. That's fine. That's fine. Let's grab the dial. Okay. Okay, I found it. If we are losing this dial, we are dead. You know what I mean? You know what? Let's hold the dial with a solar iron. So how do we solder this diode because it should be on the yeah like that yeah like that perfect and you can do a bridge from here let's do that bridge yeah we can do a bridge let's see where the diode is going So this diode is going, she'll go there, yeah, 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 we can do a bridge, okay, okay, that's okay. But we need a tiny wire there. We can clean on the end, don't worry about cleaning, don't worry. Don't worry, we can clean on the end. This wire will be around 30 40 volts. So we have to pay attention. I know the wire will move from the diode, but we'll solder the, the wire on the diode after. All I want to solder on the capacitor. Here I want to solder. Okay, give me one second. Let me cut down the finger. Come on. I just want for the wire to be there, just to stay there like...
and it's a problem because I cannot solder with the uh, with uh, with the right hand. And now is the way exactly exactly that will ha happen. The wire just get this solder from the dial. Just stay there. Come on, I can't believe. You know what, I should solder that thingy from long time. I should put more solder on the capacitor. On the diode, I have no wire now. I have to redo the thingy, and I don't have a smaller wire. And you cannot solder the wire close to on the proximity with different components because it's a high voltage uh, track. Obviously, if you use the solder iron, the wire will get hot and it will get the solder from the diode. Now it's fine, now it's okay. Let me cut down the wire. The wire is cut down. The wire on the diode is solder okay. Let's check for short. Power supply minus plus and it's not short. Let's see if we have backlight because if we don't have backlight we have to resolve that chip. Yeah. And after that we can clean after that. Oh, do I need a board here? Yeah. I need a screen because we are assuming the that the board is working. The charging connector, the battery. Let's plug the cable. Nothing smoking yet. Charging current 300 milliamps, which is not normal. 800, that's good. 700, that's good. The current goes up. But no picture on the screen. Mm. Let me try a different screen here. Yeah? We should have voltage on that capacitor. Let me check with the multimeter. We 
we have 3.6 that means the chip is not boosting let me grab another screen yeah we are good then I will give us another screen Thank you. Yes. And now our chip is boosting the voltage because I can see the battery sign on screen. Yes. So you see, I'm not saying every time it's easy. When I do have a job like that, I just press the record button, and many times, like most of the time, sorry, most of the times, happen like it'll be like a shorted cap or things like that. Oh, the current, the charging current, 780 milliamps. It's a bit too low, so I suppose the battery is either very used or. Or I don't know if I take out the battery connector now the you see without the battery well on the beginning without the battery we have like 400 and something milliamps you remember now it's like 0 0.07 which is normal I plug the battery the current goes up to up nearly 800 milliamps that's mean that current is going on the battery Yeah, let's see the, the, the battery voltage because I don't know how much we'll have here to wait for the battery to, for the phone to come on. Let's see, we can help the battery with the power supply. 3.5, yeah, it should come on quickly. It's 3.5 already. Now the hard part, cleaning, soldering back the things, put it all back together, that's another half an hour. But we will check together the voltage on that wire to understand how you have to treat the, the situation. You, you can't go near to any component because it, that's a high voltage. Uh, that, that chip is boosting the voltage around 30, 40 volts. You know what, I should tell Diana to replace quickly the screen. Okay, give me one second. Yeah, Diana will swap the screen quickly for us. Yeah, pro probably, you know, the second thing after a shorter capacitor will be problems here on the backlight area. Because 
the people are not shutting down the phone after the water damage. They just try to charge it to make it working. And yeah, when you have around 30, 40 volts with water, it's it's okay. You can see the, the sign, the charging sign, so let's check the voltage together. Okay, multimeter. Let's plug the charger and check the voltage. Minus, plus, and we have, oh, sorry. Volt. Fifteen. You see there fifteen volts, but probably because the battery is that logo with the discharge battery. We'll see when the phone is coming on. We'll see what voltage we have there. Yeah, I have one more. So we spend one hour and seven minutes. Still good. So pay attention on this power track from here, coil, and you have a track going here. And after the diode, you have this big capacitor, which I found it many times on short. One pin, this is the feedback pin, actually the chip want to know what voltage it's outputting. After that you have this fuse resistor, it's coming straight to the LCD connector. Yeah, probably the battery is weak, the charging current is low, and it's taking long to come on. It's used, sorry, the battery is used. The people are making fun of me, I can't believe. You know, I upload the videos uh, to Shiba and um, the iPhone. You know, my kind, if I have a t-shirt or uh, shirts, yeah? If I like them, I buy like five each, five each, and I only use them. I change them to the same model. I, I, I don't know, I, I fall in love with my things. I can't just swap with different model every day, no. I can swap with the same model, but not different model. And this is the the summer thingy. 
But the weather is getting cool, so I will change to the my 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 trainers. You know the gray one. Still charging. The battery is very, very, very used. Used, that's the word. Not weak. We used high internal resistance. Internal resistance. Okay, give me one second. Pretty quick. Yeah, that's the end. You have the charging sign on the screen. I don't think you can see it. Probably not. Yeah, you can see it. Maybe we should have the, the, the we should uh, help the battery with the power supply. My juice is gone. Okay, let's let's help the battery. The battery voltage. The battery voltage is three point seven, and the phone didn't come on. To understand how used is the battery. No, plus it's here. Sorry, my fault. It's taken two amps. Let's try one more time. It's still charging. Okay, let me grab another battery. This is okay. It's coming on. You see, so the phone is working, and the voltage there. Sixteen. It's not too high. Okay, so the phone is working. Yeah. Everything is working fine. So that was the problem. Okay, I'll stop this video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. But like how you see, not all the jobs are straightforward and easy. And
You can't say no if you know you can do it. Just carry on. Thank you. Bye.